Hey everyone, welcome back to another Redstone video. Today we're taking a look at a dustless tree farm that I made a little while ago for the Ambition, uh, Ambition Craft server. I did mention I was going to make a video for it, so I thought I was about the time I wanted my, uh, my, my Redstone. I haven't actually made a Redstone video in quite some time, so I thought this would be a good one to release. I've actually got a little bit of a backlog of videos that I need to release, so keep an eye out. I'll be definitely uh, releasing a few more. Uh, so make sure you subscribe and follow and all that kind of stuff. I want to keep this relatively short because, uh, you know, tree farms, if you've seen one, you've seen pretty much all of them. Uh, the main thing being is that it is relatively small when you include the blast chamber and the fact that all the bone mill distribution is all attached to this small uh, package over here. Uh, just to give you a bit of a better scale of it. Uh, this is kind of the block layout where you can kind of tell by the uh, the blocks here how big it exactly it is. It's in a relatively small package, gives you pretty good rates, and uh, it's actually quite, quite burn mill efficient as well. Um, so I thought I'd just run through some of the details here with you. One of my goals for this uh, tree farm was to try and make sure I only used one blast chamber when it came to harvesting the um, the logs. I've seen plenty of other ones that use like similarly fast rates, uh, especially when it comes to jungle. They end up splitting it up into two blast chambers, and I just didn't really like the idea of that. So one of the, uh, the, the tasks I gave myself was to make sure we fit it all in to one blast chamber, which I did. It was quite a lot of work um, as the main... Uh, main tree farm actually ended up taking like three days to build or maybe even two days to build and then the blast chamber like getting all the things correct for the blast chamber ended up taking like two weeks uh there was a lot of problems that i realized uh at some point during the build so i thought um you know it took a lot of back and forth to to actually get to where i wanted to but in the end it was pretty good so at the moment we are currently running uh the uh jungle wood type in the blast chamber i've got a bot down here placing our saplings for us uh, usual, uh, you know, kind of layout that you would usually see here. I have used Il Mango's uh, dispenser layout, uh, quite a popular one. Uh, it's, it's it's quite compact and, and easy to, to build the farm around. But other than that, most of the things were kind of changed from here. You can see, uh, instead of actually hitting the dispenser this time, you don't need to crouch. You can just hit the back of the, uh, the observer over here. And yeah, we basically were placed on the saplings. The wood's harvested, pushed into our blast chamber. The, the wood is basically uh, kind of broken up a little bit, so... Uh, four, four of the blocks at the top uh, get split into their own blast chamber to get pulled down from this side. Uh, the remainder come down here. I think there's the one. There is one block that generally gets pulled out of the bottom over here as well. So if I can show you down here, there is this uh, one one uh, log that grows usually just over here. Actually ends up getting pulled down and pushed over to the side, and then that one is rerouted to the bottom over here. As for this section of the blast chamber, that's uh, more for acacia. Well, actually, probably just only for acacia. Um, so I'll go through that in a bit more detail in a second, but generally speaking, pretty easy to build, uh, doesn't use a huge amount of resources, uh, has the bone mill distribution set up on the side here. So you've got the input for bone mill, uh, shulker boxes on this side, and then you have the bone mill dispensers. So there's, uh, three uh, shulker unloaders for all three of these, uh, droppers. Obviously, if you decide that you don't want to use the, uh, the, uh, the system here to uh, unload bone mill with shulker boxes you can just use the same lines that i've built here so you can just extend these out and then just add uh, double chests of bone mill to the uh, to the system so you don't actually need to use the shulker and loader but i imagine if you're going to want to do it quite a bit of afking you're going to probably want to do that as well to the side here we've got two switches uh one for acacia mode and uh one for oak mode obviously if you use any other wood type uh, you can just use it as normal without actually having to flip any of the levers. So birch, jungle, and spruce can all be used in the same same format. And then obviously acacia has its own and uh, oak has its own. If we have a little look at the bottom here, you can see that most of the mechanics are run uh, from this section here. So it's basically just this, uh, <laughs> this slime block uh, mess that you see here, uh, along with a couple of pistons. And it's mainly running on like a budded piston, uh, budded piston system. Uh, even like when you change over to uh, acacia mode, it mainly runs on budded systems. It's actually going to be a bit of a weird thing that you'll see when you do end up switching to acacia. But yeah, pretty straightforward. This is almost the entire brains of the system, and uh, very little else. Honestly, the most annoying part is the the dispenser layout. It uses the most uh, most materials. But other than that, pretty easy to build and pretty simple. If we come over to here to the oak mode. 
Uh, we'll have a little look at it. The uh, system's already running, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and flip the oak mode. And all this is going to do, it's going to do a couple things, actually. So, number one, it's going to go ahead and bring this flying machine down to restrict the, the height of oak trees, which uh, I'm sure you're aware at this point uh, uses, uh, we only want to harvest, I think, seven logs in total. So, we're going to restrict the height to make sure we don't bonk the system. And uh, we also need to change the way the dispensers push things in. So, it actually activates this system here. Uh, which ends up pushing these set of observers down so they no longer take an output from from the repeaters over here they'll actually just end up taking output from uh, the note blocks instead which are going to be powered directly by these observers instead they need to be a little bit quicker so the the delay on them is not needed on this side which is why we push the observers down so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and flip uh, the lever for oak and obviously you're going to see the flying machine come down. That's going to drop off that one block just to restrict the height and not make its way back again. Obviously it's all self-returning and whatnot. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the player to use as well. There we go. So Oak is now going to be harvesting relatively quickly. He's uh, not moving as quick as he should do. Uh, it, it, the, I always find with the, what's weird with tree farms is that sometimes they move really quickly, sometimes they don't. You can see that it was a relatively quick gro growth. Sometimes it feels like it needs momentum, which is interesting and definitely not a real mechanic, but it always just seems that way. Um, yeah, so most of the oak should be coming out of this system over here. And um, basically all we do is we're pushing it as quick as we can through this side. Sometimes, like I said, you do find that a couple of pieces of, uh, of logs do end up getting away. So they end up coming through this side here as well, which is why there is multiple openings. Uh, but yeah, everything is basically handled all by this one, uh, one, one piece of TNT system over here. Now, in terms of the return rates, there, it isn't 100% efficient. It's like 99.5% efficient. You do end up losing a couple pieces of logs every now and then. Nothing crazy. Uh, the rates are still relatively close to when I tested it as if you were going to have it completely lossless. Uh, so no, nothing really to worry about there. So again, all we've done is uh, we push the observer down. That's gone ahead and pushed the... Um, uh, the observer chain here you can see now the observers are no longer visible they're now taking output from the note block which are getting powered by these observers here and then once we uh, turn the oak system off uh, this will be pushed back into place and that'll push everything back up again and obviously we'll have the blocked retracting so we'll take final look at acacia this one's slightly weirder um, it needs a little bit more not information but probably just some a little uh, a little bit that you probably need to know about if i go ahead and hit the note block to turn the system on uh when i do hit acacia you're gonna see that this wall here actually ends up extending for a second nothing to worry about there if you do see that happen as soon as that's retracted you should be all good to go uh the reason why acacia kind of requires its own uh own mode is if i do show you uh, acacia has to have a delay between the two sides um, because of the way that it grows it's kind of weird so you can see uh, this side here goes uh, gets extended first and then this side gets double uh, double double shot out basically so you get a, you get two piston pushes at the same uh, one after another and also this uh, this this set of pistons here also get extended for a little bit longer of a time acacia is actually the main reason why uh, the tnt blast chamber ended up taking so long because acacia has really weird growth and uh, doesn't doesn't handle TNT blast chambers all that well. Now, I could have done the whole Il Mango thing, which is put the whole thing in a block conveyor and have it put into a blast chamber. That would have made the whole thing 100% efficient, and it also would have made uh, collection a little bit easier, but it also would have reduced the rates quite a bit as well. So I decided to opt in for just trying to figure out how I can put all of these in one blast chamber and deal with the absolute pain that comes with it. As you probably just noticed a second ago, you do get a couple pieces of loss uh, with acacia but again it's nothing crazy i've tested this uh for over 100 hours and the difference between uh full collection and having it in the blast chamber wasn't dramatic enough anyway so it was all good we, we got we're still getting pretty good rates from this whole thing one point i do think i want to mention though that i think would be important is the uh, collection for the saplings we don't actually keep any excess saplings or sticks that you end up getting from here um the main reason for this was jungle mode because what ends up happening is uh with jungle you can end up getting quite a bit of a surplus um if you did end up collecting it eventually but when you're using jungle mode you do find that it ends up relying on some of the jungle saplings kind of lying around from like previous runs where you get a lot more extra and if I end up collecting all the extras that drop out every time, you end up being, uh, uh, you no longer end up being in a surplus of saplings, you end up losing and eventually this farm will stop working because the player will run out of saplings. So I just opted to just let any of the extra bits despawn and anything you do need ends up getting collected from the player when he's using it.
And one more thing that I would mention is that pretty much all of the honey on the outside of the farm, so all of these bits here, um, all of, so all the honey up here, all this honey here, none of that actually needs to be honey, you can use slime for that. The only thing that does need to be honey is the side, the, the honey inside of the farm inside here. The rest was pretty much just for aesthetical reasons. That's going to be all. I'm going to leave a link for the world download in the description down below. If you have any questions, hit me up in the Discord where the link will be. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy. Thanks very much. Bye.